got here the first afternoon in the sand hills at the Fink Ranch out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere off a dirt road, and uh, just heading to the shooting range right now. It's the usual deal, gotta go make sure the rifle's all set, but I'm really excited because I got some new loads from the Federal Custom Shop right before this trip, and I'm sure they're gonna shoot like a dream, so just gotta make sure my, my rifle's dialed for them, and that's what we're about to go do right now, so let's go see what these bad boys look like on paper. So this is my three shot group right here. First time ever shooting these new loads from the Federal Custom Shop. And I mean, come on, I'm gonna take that all day. I'm itching right now because we got here, but unfortunately it's, it's prime time. It's too late to get out and do any real hunting. So just gonna pull out the glass do a little drive around the block, if you will. And uh, the block out here is probably about a 30 mile loop. So we got plenty of country to see, but no, really just gonna go do some scouting. Um, you can never have enough eyes out there. You just never know where that next deer is gonna slip out of. So we're gonna go look in a few of those little nooks and crannies and see if we can't find one for tomorrow. When it comes to planning my hunts, it doesn't matter if it's big game, small game, or birds, DIY, guided, public land, private land, you name it, there's always one constant and that's the fact that I use HuntStand for all my digital scouting while I'm at home and while I'm on the move actually in the field. HuntStand has a great desktop application for digital scouting from the comfort of your home or while you're on the move, you can use the mobile app to tap into features like 3D mapping, hunt zone wind maps, distance measurement, area measurement, property boundaries, and a variety of map layers that are gonna show you the best places to hunt. In the case of this mule deer hunt in Nebraska, one of the primary features that allowed us to be successful was the hunt zone wind map. It shows you an hour by hour visual depiction of where your scent is gonna blow. So whether you're spotting and stalking or sitting in a tree stand, you know that when you're going after those deer, you're making the right moves at the right time. So we've just been driving up on some of these high hills, these glassing points, and out here you can see miles and miles and miles of country. One of the spots we're gonna go glass here, it's pretty cool because Scott's had a chunk of ground and he just realized he actually had more ground than he knew, checking the hunt stand app, and uh, we've seen a lot of deer. We've probably seen, I don't know, 15 bucks or so this morning. And because of the number of deer and the fact that we are getting this much activity, I'm being a little bit more picky about what kind of deer that I might want to shoot. So you look back and it's cool the way these hills work. It really is the ultimate spot and stock terrain for mule deer or whitetails, which you don't get in a lot of parts of the country. It's just the hills work so close together that when you can see an animal go on to one hill, odds are you're gonna be able to sneak up to the hill in front of it to be able to get a close shot. And this was only about 150 yards. So just aim dead on. Don't even have to think about it. Just go instinctual and, and make the shot. And that's what happened here. Over the years, I've, I've hunted a lot of different regions in Nebraska. And uh, the sand hills always keep me coming back. Um, but the past couple times I've been out here, I've just strictly focused on the deer hunting. And my friend Brad Fenson enlightened me to all the other opportunities that a hunter can have out here. Ultimately, I want to sit down here on the last evening with my friends. Scott and LaKayla and their family and enjoy a wild game dinner with all sorts of species on the menu. So we're gonna do our best to make that happen. <laughs>